Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Space Between Us. So The Space Between Us stars Asa Butterfield, Brett Robertson, Carla Gugino, and Gary Oldman. So The Space Between Us tells the story of this young boy played by Asa Butterfield. He's the first human to ever be born on Mars. So for the past 16 years, he's just been living life on Mars. He eventually gets in contact with Brett Robertson, who is like the first girl that he's ever had some kind of feelings for. So when he goes to Earth, he and Brett Robertson embark on an adventure and he does go to Brett Robertson because he needs help with something, but I'm not going to say why. And The Space Between Us is a film that I've been waiting to see for a very long time. Ever since last year when they showed the trailer, I've been honestly looking forward to this movie because I can enjoy a romance movie. They don't always have to be realistic for me to enjoy it. I could just enjoy a romance movie as long as I can care about the storyline and the characters just everything you need to make for a solid romance movie and I was hoping this could be at least a solid movie I know the reviews for this film are really terrible but even with that I still want to go in with an open mind and so after seeing the space between us I'll say this I don't think it's as bad as the reviews say it is. I've seen worse movies than The Space Between Us. But at the same time, this film could have been a lot better. This is a wasted opportunity of a movie. I was disappointed. I really think this movie is so disappointing. And the fact that it took them so long to release this film, I hate to say it kind of shows maybe why because it really is not that good of a movie. It was supposed to come out originally like in August of last year, then it got delayed to December of last year, and then finally it came out on February of 2017, so, oh man. But of course there are some good things I can say about the space between us. First of all, the setup is really cool, and I'm not going to say why, but the setup for the space between us I thought was actually really cool. I thought it was really strong. I was already invested with what was going on. And even when we get to Asa Butterfield at 16 years old, when he's up on Mars, I actually found that stuff to be really cool. But I have to say this, once he does arrive on Mars, that's when this movie became not that good honestly like it was strong for like the first 45 minutes because it does take a while for him to actually get on earth like you would think he would be on earth immediately but no the movie actually does a lot of setting up it takes a long time to get on earth actually but when he does get on earth uh, I just didn't find myself caring that much now did I care about the leads of course I did I cared about Asa Butterfield's character I cared about Brett Robertson's character in fact Asa Butterfield and Brett Robertson, they do have chemistry. They're the best things about this film. Their chemistry, I thought, was very strong. And if their chemistry wasn't so strong in this film, I could have seen myself being completely bored by this film because I honestly was getting quite bored watching this film but because Asa Butterfield and Brett Robertson they honestly do have very nice chemistry and I believed that they actually had feelings for each other that's why the space between us wasn't as weak as it could have been it's those two the thing they both gave very good performances honestly I thought Gary Oldman did a good job in this film for what he was given. He doesn't really have that much to do, unfortunately. At first he kind of did, but then as the movie goes on, there's not really a whole lot to him, unfortunately. But I, he does try. I thought he was good. And Carla Gugino, I thought she was actually very good in this film, too. She has a couple of moments with Asa Butterfield that I thought were executed very well. So, honestly, I didn't really have a problem with the acting. Cinematography was great, too. I love cinematography. I didn't think the direction was really all that bad. I think for what the director needed to do, and this is from director Peter Chelsum, I think he does try with the script that he's personally given. But once again, when it comes to my problems with this movie, it's just that the storyline 
it just wasn't clicking with me. The dialogue I felt wasn't really well written. The movie does come off as cheesy with the dialogue. And it's not like I have really have a problem with the movie being cheesy. I can enjoy cheesy movies. But it's just that when it's cheesy here, it doesn't always work. The humor when they attempt at it comes off as forced a lot of times. I may have laughed a few times, sure, but most of the time the humor just falls really flat on its face. And then there's a story where Gary Oldman and Carla Gugino, they're just really after Asa Butterfield, because I won't reveal why, but they're just chasing after Asa Butterfield throughout the film and I didn't really find their stuff interesting and then the film just has to try so hard to be emotional because it really does try overall to be emotional especially when you get to like the third act where it tries to be like the most emotional thing but I wasn't feeling anything yes I care about the characters but the emotion that the film tries to bring I just <clears throat> and I wasn't feeling it. And I could tell passion went into this film. I could tell the writers tried. I give credit where credit is due. I always, when I review movies, I look at it from the writer's point of view. I could see where they were trying to go with this film and, you know, bless their hearts for trying, but it's just that the movie wasn't as interesting as I thought it could have been. It does get quite boring. And considering this is a two hour long movie, yes, this movie is two hours long. And once Ace of Butterfield does go on Earth, I did start to feel that two-hour pacing. It's not like it's a total drag. And like I said, it's because of him and Brett's chemistry that I really got into it. But I just got a little bored sometimes watching this film. And then there's this reveal. There's this plot twist that happens at the end of the film. And it didn't work. And it was so predictable. I knew pretty much like 25 minutes into this film, what the reveal, the plot twist was gonna be. I'm gonna say it's more of a reveal, basically. It didn't work, it felt so out of place, and I'm gonna just say this without spoiling anything, it made the entire journey of this movie feel pointless. Overall, The Space Between Us, it's not bad. I don't think it's as bad as the reviews make it out to be. But at the same time, I don't think it's as good as it could have been either. There was so much potential for this to be at least a solid romance movie. Is this sweet at times? Yes. Does Brett Robertson and Asa Butterfield have very good chemistry? Did I believe in their little romance? Yes, I did. But the storyline isn't interesting. It gets pretty ridiculous. The film tries way too hard to be emotional. And as a whole, it's a forgettable and very disappointing movie. So I'm going to give The Space Between Us 2 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the space between us. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!